Hey everybody, welcome back to Project Happy Home. For those of you who are new here, I'm Tanya, doctor, lawyer, turned homeschool mom of three kids ages 10, 7, and 5. If you're interested in videos about secular homeschooling, raising a child with ADHD, and living a more essentialist lifestyle in general, you have come to the right place, so be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. In today's video, I will be sharing with you a workbook from Shell Education. This is their 180 Days series. They have them for a whole variety of different topics. This one in particular, is 180 days of language for second grade. Now, I like some of the 180 day series. I don't like others. I've tried out a few of them. The language one for the younger grades is actually really nice, and I'll tell you why I like it. It goes over capitalization, punctuation, parts of speech, and spelling on every single page in the exact same format every single day and it's organized by day so if you look at the top here it says day 99 day 100 so on and so forth and we actually never finished this book for my son when he was doing it in second grade a couple of years ago but i recently unearthed it and i thought it would be worth sharing with you guys so you'll notice that it starts off there's a little scoring section on the side we never actually use those i would just see whether he had done it well or not if he had trouble i i would highlight that concept so i knew i could review it again with him later but it starts out circle the word that needs a capital letter it's a really quick little way of like editing for them right and then write a greeting that you would write in a letter to your teacher so dear teacher rewrite the sentence with a contraction so here they're supposed to pick out will not and change it to um, circle the adjectives in the sentence what is the past tense of have circle the word that has an ow spelling pattern that sounds the same in clown this whole page can be done in less than five minutes easily perhaps even in two minutes i like the idea of having a really swift grammar and phonics review um, for your child especially at this level because repetition is so important so that they don't forget things at this age they might not always encounter proper nouns right as you're teaching them grammar at this age but if they encounter it every single day here it just becomes a habit for them. So again, it starts off with capitalization. What's another way to write the pizza from the restaurant? The restaurant's pizza. And here it's just reviewing where that apostrophe would go. Adding commas to a letter. Circling an adverb. What's the past tense of this word? Circle the word that is spelled correctly. So again, same exact format every single day. It just takes a second and it gives you a good idea of what kinds of things they know, what kinds of things they don't know, what might be confusing to them. Um, there's some writing activities like writing an adjective to complete the sentence, completing it with a noun and an adverb, circle the correctly spelled word. Again, the same concepts every time, slightly different problems, but not really too complicated. So You'll notice that even now, 54 days later, you're still reviewing capital letter here, apostrophes here, commas, adjectives, noun and adverb, and spelling. So we are cementing these skills as the year progresses. Capital letters, writing a greeting. So we are cementing these skills, right? We have um, which types of words are always capitalized, add apostrophes, adverbs, plural noun, which word is spelled correctly and so on and so forth. So if you wanted to have a really quick way of cementing skills, making sure that they're getting these concepts that they should get at this grade level, this is a really, really nice workbook. And it just progresses through the entire year in the exact same way. So that was 180 Days of Language for Second Grade by Shell Education, you guys. If you're not familiar with the 180 Days of Language um, series or the 180 Days series, you can look into it. They have it for a variety of different things. So for here, you can see it goes from K through sixth. I believe that we've used grade one and grade two. I don't know that we've used grade K yet. It does come with a CD in the back if you wanted to print out more. And I've never actually looked at that, but I think it has practice pages in that CD. There is an answer key at the back of this book. Not that you would really need it at this level, but if you needed to confirm that any particular answer was right, it would be there. So I really enjoy this book, you guys. I hope this was valuable to you. I don't see too many people talking about this series, and I think that it's really useful, particularly at the earlier levels. So I will link it down in the description box below. If you want to check it out, please do. It is an affiliate link for Amazon. Um, which means I do get a small commission if you use my link to purchase it. I do appreciate that support. It makes it a lot easier for me to justify the time it takes to make these videos on this channel. And as always, you guys, I really do appreciate your time. Thank you for spending some of it with me, and I wish you the very best day.